Good morning and welcome back to Biopharm America 2016. We're in Boston, day two of the conference. We're going to have some hopefully very interesting and informative interviews with some of the presenting and attending companies here today. And to, the, to get it started, I'm happy to have with us Andreas Kerr, um, a professor and the co-founder and chief scientific officer of Curacite in Denmark. And Curacite has a precision medicine approach that is focused on cancer, um, using companion diagnostics, and so we're just going to uh, ask him to tell us a little bit about the company. Let me just read this description first, which is that Curacite is a clinical stage specialty biotech company focused on developing novel and innovative radionuclide therapy and companion diagnostic PET imaging ligands for improved diagnosis, treatment monitoring, and outcome in cancer. That's a lot. Can you... Uh, yeah. Maybe boil that down for us a little bit? Yes. Um, what we have developed in Curacide is a PET tracer, which is for imaging, and it can predict whether a cancer is aggressive or not. Right. And that can be used for tailoring therapy and plugs very well into the whole idea of precision medicine. Right. For example, if people have prostate cancer, uh, two cancers may look very much alike, have the same size, but with our imaging technology, it is really possible to predict whether the cancer will spread or not. And this uh, has a big advantage because if it's relatively benign uh, yeah. tumor, there's no need for doing surgery. And surgery is always hampered by side effects uh, in the case of prostate cancer, impotence, mm. urinary incontinence, and you don't yeah. want that if, no. the, if the surgery is not necessary. Right. Uh, so we would save a lot of these procedures. On the other hand, if it's aggressive, which our imaging technology, the U-Trace uh, PET tracer, which targets UPAR, which is a marker of aggressiveness, if it's positive, then patients should receive surgery or aggressive treatment uh, to ensure that they are well treated and the cancer won't spread. So it's, it's a technology basically that uh, fits very well into healthcare, save costing, because saving because right. cost efficiency. It's, yeah, it's, it's so much cheap, cheaper than doing surgery. Of course. On average, of course, surg surgical procedures are different, but it's not uh, a t in a typical case, you can buy five to 10 of our scans for the price of one saved surgical procedure. So uh, we foresee that we can save very many surgery, unnecessary surgery, uh, better quality of life for patients because they won't get the unnecessary right. side effects. Right. Uh, and that can more than pay for the imaging procedure. Tell us again the name of your imaging or your diagnostic product and then tell us about the interface of it with, um, with drug therapy. Yeah. Um, the name of it is U-Trace, uh -huh. that's a trademark, right. and it is a, a PET tracer that targets the u system. And the u system is a system that is responsible for breaking down tissue around the tumor. So it's not just an epiphenomenon we are imaging. We are actually imaging the cause of forming metastasis. And this target is also used as a therapeutic target. Uh, for obvious reasons. If you can hinder that, the, 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 the system will lead to spread. It's very efficient. And if you want to apply this therapy, we can do the theranostic pairing because we can demonstrate that the target is expressed at a high level and then it's relevant to treat. If people are not positive on our scan, there's no way that approaching that same target with therapy is going to be effective. So that is precision medicine, only the mm -hmm. right, right medicine to the right person at the right yes, time. Exactly. Uh, that's one way uh, to use it as, as a companion diagnostic. Mm -hmm. So you're in phase two in breast cancer, but this could have applicability across a range of cancers? Yeah, I think, I mean, that, that's one of the exciting things about, uh, about this target. It's generally expressed in, in any cancer form that spreads. So the tracer can be used for all cancers. And indeed, we are seeking the label uh, with the authorities by pursuing the breast cancer staging, which is how spread is the cancer. Uh, and in this case, the whole idea is to save 
the surgical procedures, the so-called sentinel node biopsy procedure, which is a surgical procedure that demonstrates whether they're spread or not. Mm -hmm. We will we'll simply be game-changing here and do an imaging modality instead. Again, saving people for surgical procedures just to know whether they're spread or not. We can do that by imaging. But this is, this is our main track right now, but mm -hmm. we are in prostate cancer, we are wow. in brain cancer, oh. we are in lung cancer, we are in head and neck cancer. So all these different areas uh, we are launching, have launched or are launching phase two studies uh, in collaboration with academic centers. I see. So I want to talk to you a little bit about this conference specifically. I know that Curacite is presenting um, about three hours from now. I hope that goes well. But what was Curacite's goal coming here to the conference? Are you looking for um, partners? Are you looking for financing? Both? Yeah, we're looking for both things. So far, uh, we received five million euros, which is six, mm -hmm. seven million mm -hmm. uh, US dollars to get until where we are now, which is including a phase two study uh, right. with 50 breast cancer patients. And uh, now we are, we are seeking for 25 million US dollars further investment for a go-to-market strategy. Right. And uh, of course, that is both the investment, but also very much uh, a partner that can bring in intelli intelligent money. So far, our investors are uh, a Danish venture, uh, capital fund, seed capital, but it's also one of the largest industrial players within this area, the German Eckert and Siegler. Uh, oh. And they actually produce the radioactivity that is uh, is used for, for this tracer. Oh. So we have somebody with, with the whole uh, pipeline and the, and the capability of uh, producing this drug. And are you here in Boston to maybe also raise awareness in the United States of yes. what Curacite is doing? Definitely. And how's that going? Yeah. I think that's going very well. It's, uh, it's not a secret that we are pursuing a European strategy as right. a step one, okay. but uh, we do in parallel uh, pursue the American part, uh, mm -hmm. approaching FDA uh, right. soon. So uh, this would also be one of the interests in ha getting a US partner on board to be more strong on the, on the US side because we want this to run in parallel to make it uh, global. So a co-development partner? Could be, could also be more of an investor, depending on who come, but it would be very interesting, somebody that could help developing further. A commercialization partner, or are we yeah, too Yeah, commercially, early? no, that would be, it's a go-to-market strategy, basically yeah, we're okay. pursuing now, so a commercialization partner would be uh, what we mainly are looking for. I think on, on the technical side, we are pretty strong, as we are right now uh, with the development and, and the whole chemistry, that's something that we already have in-house. So it's on the commercialization side. We need some extra power. Andreas, good luck. I hope the conference goes well and I hope your ongoing trials go well. And we'll look forward to following the Curacite story in the uh, Informa Pharma uh, Intelligence publications. Thanks very much. Thank you very much. We'll be back with more from Biopharma America.